every dealer is different, right? So Matador, they really adjust that process to your process. All right, everybody, Michael Cirillo here for Asodu, Automotive State of the Union. We are at the Matador.ai booth. I'm here with my pal Joshua Bagley and Ramsey from Matador. How are you gents doing? I'm good, good. How are you? Doing very well. All right, so I, t tell me, your, your dealer side, you're on a dealer advisory board. Yep, tell yep. me tell me why that's important, what, what stands out to you uh, as part of that. Yeah, so Matador is really um, responsive in, in um, getting feedback from dealerships and and being able to adjust with what they need, you know, as the times change. I mean, every uh, communication with, with from clients to, to dealerships change over time. You know, SMS is a big thing right now, but next may be WhatsApp and going on from there. So they're really responsive to that and, and updating with the times. Um, put together a dealer advisory board. Myself, we got um, as the dealer advisory board director. Um, there's five on there now, and we're looking for about five others. So it'd be a total of ten, really, from um, dealerships that are that are clients, and then not you know um, dealer principals and internet sales directors and BDC uh, managers that aren't clients, um, just to get a feedback and 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 um, you know and feedback feedback from everybody. So. Yeah, this is tremendous. I mean, you're probably wondering, why did I start here with that element? What the heck even is Matador.ai? But I think it's really important to highlight that there is a company in automotive amidst the measuring, the shoe measuring contest of NADA that listens to dealers, is really concerned about how do we bridge that gap between quote unquote vendor and uh, dealership to, to bridge those gaps and unify communication. So next, I want to come over to Ramsey here from Matador. I'm going to move in the middle. Yeah, now, yeah. This is like a weird trio now with the whatever. Ramsey, how you doing, my Good, man? Good, sir. Good, sir. So tell me a little bit about Matador. What does it aim to solve? What's the problem? And how are you guys working with your dealer partners in order to solve that communication barrier? Yeah, absolutely. So Matador, what it is, is we're building out an automated workforce for dealers specifically to automate engagement throughout the entire life cycle of the customer's journey. So from sales, starting with new leads coming in, we're using our first text messaging, uh, first focus approach, where we're gonna be able to automate as many text messages and build out a campaign. What's been done for email for a long time, we're doing it with text messaging. So pushing that customer through the cycle of the sales funnel into, we, do, we work with reviews, um, we do appointment co confirmations, reminders, uh, a lot of things involved with the sales side of engaging the customer, but also trying to get them to be on the service side as well. Appointment reminders for service, any type of promotional mass marketing text messages, any type of engagement really with the customer is what Matador is doing. We're trying to start more conversations, but the key is you know, we're going to customize Matador to the dealer's process. We're going to work within their process. We're not giving them a black box and saying you have to work within what we have said it's very customizable. Everything on the platform can be changed to fit exactly what the messaging uh, or timing or how the dealer wants to automate their processes with what they're already working with at the dealership. So this is a really crucial piece. What does it mean to you to know that they're able to work within your process and not throw you into a box that so many tend to do? Yeah, I mean, you, you always have vendors tell you, like, this is the way you need to do it. And this is what we found. But, I mean, every dealer is different, right? So Matador, they really ad adjust that process to your process. Um, you know, we use it for service, you know, after after the after service visits to get more reviews. I mean, is that something that we we thought of? You know, basically anything you can you can pull a report for in your CRM, you can be able to, to build a, a process or sequence off of that. So any of your why buy here reasons for your store, I mean, everybody here in this room has different why buy here reasons at their dealership, right? So all of those why buy here reasons you can incorporate into your messaging through Matador. So it's, it's great. What's significant to me as I listen to this, what really stands out as a recent car buyer in a market where I didn't know any car shoppers, I, there were a lot of redundancies. There were a lot of emails and text messages and phone calls going out. They all start the same and they were void of understanding where I was actually at in the buying journey. So can you speak to me a little bit about how you guys are keying in on that? Uh, I, I guess eliminating that redundancy? Absolutely. So we make the personalization and the messaging is key for making that a very personalized experience for a car buyer. So depending on you know where you're looking at, what kind of vehicle you're looking at, we can change the messaging to fit that that narrative of where the customer's at. So you know, taking from somebody that's coming online and let's say with our fingerprinting uh, feature, for instance, is this is a feature where someone comes and they submit their information on the dealership's website. They don't buy anything, but six months later, they're down the road and they get back on the dealership website 
They don't submit a lead, but they look at a couple different vehicles. Matador can actually see that they're back on the website because we're tracking the device ID and then send out a personalized message based on the vehicles that they were looking at and the pages that they were looking at. So personalization is key with the Matador uh, automation platform. That's super cool. One last question for you, Josh. Uh, or do I, you go by Joshua? What do you prefer? Josh, all right, cool. I hate getting people's names wrong. That's why I didn't try your last <laughs> name, dude. Um, so speaking about personalization and how you were talking about you know, perhaps trying to be fit into somebody else's process, what's one key piece of your process that the personalization piece really fits into for you? Well, for us, I mean, every every different lead source or in Matador that's called a touch point is, is somewhere, um, like Ramsey was saying, is, is, is somewhere, somebody different, they're looking for a different, um, different answers. They're, di you know, they're, they're, they're different, they're at a different spot in their car buying process. Um, so you really need to follow up with them in a different way, depending on, you know, what their what their interest is, what their you know, and we've been able to do that at our dealership, um, increase lead engagement at least sixty three percent, you know, from when we were just calling people. So it's it's been it's been tremendous for us to be able to get that much more lead engagement and, and that many more conversations. Super cool. This is Matador. How can those watching get in touch with Matador to learn more about this platform? Go to Matador.ai, book a demo with us. We can run you through it in ten to fifteen minutes and show you exactly what we're about. There you go. Thanks so much, Josh, Ramsey. Thanks, sir. Appreciate your time.